Hello, gorgeous soul. Welcome to your June astrology. What a month. A lot of adventure, a lot of karmic and cosmic revelations. And one of the things that's really caught my eye, which I think is going to be so revealing, is when Venus joins forces with the North Node. The North Node is about where we're going. It's about our growth. It's about our karma. It's about our destiny. And with Venus and the North Node in Taurus, we are really learning something about security, finding the security and love within ourselves to expand and grow. There may be an intense revelation about intimate relationships, but I tell you what, it's deeply significant. And also, you know, about security in general and taking ourselves to the next level. It's a beautiful thing. Here's your monthly astrology. Hey, Scorpio, you are coming into your power in June. Well, you know, there have been times in your life, potentially many times in your life, where you've been fully aware of that amazing power of yours. But last month might have been a bit tricky for you. That's because we had, and we still do actually, up until the 3rd, have Mercury retrograde in your one-to-one romantic and one-to-one business or friendship zone. So any one-to-one relationship would have been impacted with Mercury retrograde. So perhaps you felt misunderstood or you've gone through reassessing what your intimate relationships are like. And, you know, once or after the third, you'll be really clear. And in fact, there might even be a pleasant surprise around the 11th of June as Venus and Uranus join forces to bring a delightful, electrifying or just a surprise surprise. You know, let me know how it goes in the comments below. Anyway, finally, Mercury is re-entering your position of primal energy. It's a Scorpio vibe in you. You are pumped up Scorpio vibing when Mercury re-enters. You, you can look at people and dive deep with your psychic detective vibes. You know you're really good at that. You know what's going on under the surface. Obviously, don't let paranoia overtake you. Keep yourself grounded when you're looking into someone and you're sensing whether they have good intentions or negative intentions. Weigh it up with practicality, but you're super psychic after the 13th of June and very, very clear with your perceptions after the 18th. So a little bit of leeway in between there. We have a full moon in Sagittarius and you're thinking about what security means to you and abundance. And hopefully you'll have again a psychic revelation or a synchronicity or a dream that will lead you in the right direction. When it comes to abundance, security, you might be thinking about making a commitment, laying down some foundations, and this full moon kind of gives you the answer. Now, Venus is also going to be sextile Neptune and giving you this sense of joy. You might let your guard down, actually, and feel very open-hearted, loving, joyful, sort of filled with pleasure and wonder and excitement of, of life. You know those wonderful times where you have that moment of total connection into your feelings and into your kind of center of fun and lightheartedness, but also with pleasure and joy and, and deep stuff because you're naturally a deep being. So Venus sextile Neptune on the 19th is very, very good for you. When the sun shifts signs, that's good because it's going into fellow water sign, it's going into cancer. It's also the solstice, either the winter or the summer solstice, depending on where you are. And you're quite excited about that. You're ready for an adventure. You're ready to explore. You're ready to reach out into the world. And actually, what's really interesting, on the same day, we have Venus trying Pluto. Come on, Pluto, your ruler, is trying, which is a good thing. Venus, the planet of love and abundance. And it should be a really important conversation and decision you make around that time. Then Venus is moving out into Gemini and for you into your primal zone again. You might have very intense feelings for the remainder of June, like really full on and intense. But again, fight your fears, stand in your power, be the best version of yourself. I mean, obviously feel whatever you're feeling, get support if you need it. But there is a cosmic way to access your power this month for sure. The new moon in Cancer is square Jupiter, the planet of good fortune. Normally a square is tricky, but Jupiter doesn't do that. Jupiter always brings optimism to the party. And you might feel that you want to adventure, go on a journey and be a bit wild. But you're balancing that up with self-care and finding the balance within yourself to be able to have an adventure in a safe way. 
Venus is also sextile Jupiter on the same day. And you're like, mm, you're really feeling things intensely. And again, you're thinking about how can I really explore everything I'm passionate about while also taking care of myself and looking after my being and having sort of perfect balance. It might be good actually to get out the temperance card in the tarot and kind of think, what does that mean to me? Where do I need more temperament? Temperance, where do I need more balance? Sending so much love to you. Take care, gorgeous. And I'll speak to you soon. Don't forget to come visit me on Instagram at Michelle Knight, Michelle with one L, and on Facebook where I do lots of lives and you may even get a live tarot reading from me individually, Michelle Knight Astrologer, and of course my website, michellenight.com, if you want a reading with one of my fabulous psychics. So much love to you.